So I go up the steps to the World War II shelters. Look at that, lovely. Lovely. Feed the cat. Chop it into bits. Air raid shelter. Dun, dun, dun. So we've just entered. This is um, actually the largest air raid shelters in Malta. Largest bomb shelter. Um, it's 500 meters long. Some ammunition. Some bits and bobs. There's a George Cross. A Malta was awarded, of course. Some World War medals. Some more stuff. So lovely displays in here. It's on the aircraft that took part. So you've got a Spitfire, a Hurricane, a Gladiator, a Stuka, and Mishma 109. Nice little selection here. Ammunition. A couple of live 303 rounds, 20 mil shells. Nose piece. The fuse from a 3.7 inch QF. And the aircraft shell. Down here we've got gas masks of various types and the helmet. Various bits and pieces. Now if we come up here, these medals and the cap badges are the Royal Malta Artillery, King's Own Malta Regiment. Slight change from the Royal Artillery badge, see the cross of Malta on the back. Uh, These medals were awarded to the oh, uncle yeah. of the gentleman who's showing us around to today, yeah. Mr. Yeah. De Bono. It's, it's yeah. His father as well. You go out. Here are also some fossils. Have you got a, uh, you got a mobile? Yes. you got a torch? Yes. Very good. Um, so right there. Oh. Some more helmets. There we go. Right there. British there. ones. I remember these. I never did work out what they were. And there's of course the German Schalhelm. Little details like graffiti shooting down the aircraft. See any aircraft guns? There's the aircraft. More graffiti? 1942, Maria Sultana. Bomb up there, scratched in. Maltese cross. Maltese cross. Wow. So the story is literally written on the walls of this. And there's a fossil right there. Right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Little one there. There you go. Section from a Merlin engine, Rolls Royce Merlin. More tools. Draw a Christmas tree. Hmm. And this pencil line oh, goes all the way along still, still there, yeah. on both sides. And that was where they made it higher in the centre of people's heads as they walked along. You go, somewhere to pop a candle. See all the soot marks on there. That's a turret. ship. The gun tuck shooting at aircraft attacking. Brilliant. Something's been scrubbed out of the tower. Yeah. That looks like buildings. Tiles. Tiles on the floor. Yes. Because. Because these are maternity clinic area. Oh. And so they had to be cleaned. Wow. So they brought down tiles. The original tiles. Wow, look at that. <laughs> but a little bit like So these. people were giving birth in here. And they're laid properly, not just put down. Do you see what yeah. I mean? They, they were laid on um, black, black... Um, What's that say there? Lime. Because Attard. Lime. Where do I know that name from? I keep seeing that anyway. Is that Gino Attard? Attard. Attard, yeah. It's a multi surname. <laughs> wow. It's fantastic. It only gives you rock over your head. If you're in a room, you have to dig it out yourself. 
Really? <laughs> yes. So how, do, how would people say this is my area? Well, you have to apply for it and you get permission. And if you notice, they're all the same size. Mm. You, don't, you can't big, dig great big things. The bunks. The bunks on the top. Wow. wow. There are 46 separate tunnel systems in this town. This is just one of them. Comes the end of this bit, and there's a full width screen. To look at. There's the George Cross. We just got the end of it. <laughs> Read the notice. Museum was stored in here for protection. Wow. There, Aid Warden, on the top of the stairs. Oh, yeah. Original handrails. So, of course, now you have electric lighting rather than candles. Oil lamps. This runs right under the town square. It's quite incredible. You've still got all the scorch marks, the soot marks on the walls. Okay. Nail with a bit of line for hanging a lamp, maybe. So hook on to there. A door, maybe. Soot marks from candles. Little alcoves to put things in. You, you just, you have the experience, you have the, the reality down here. It's damp, it's a little bit claustrophobic, not too bad because the tunnels are quite large, because you need to move a lot of people and you need to move them quickly. But it's, it's nice, it's cool as well. What do we got here? Thin candle wedged in. Yeah, yeah, wedged in there. What I'm thinking is um, carbon monoxide. All under here. We've got candles and gas lights. Uh, there seems to be some sort of airflow though. But if you read um, One Man's Window by Dennis Barnum, if I remember rightly, there's a really good um, description of being down in these shelters during a a raid. Oh. Hello, little three pronged arrow. It's like the old WD war department. That was outside so. the letter yesterday. Yeah, and on that jerry can we saw. Yeah. That's the war department stamping. Oh. Steps here, it's all blocked off. But, uh, gives you an idea. So that's probably an exit out into the open air. back down into the network. There's a 40mm Bofors gun sight. Grand Harbour up on the wall there where I was yesterday. And here is a gun battery, 3.7 inch gun battery. This is what my grandfather was on around the UK and North Africa. Opens out here. Quite large. 
Oops, pants here. Small digging here. Here's a larger room. What's that? It's very scraped. Let's pull out more and more of the stone. This is a very large room. Pieces of wood, perhaps from a, from a bunk, a table. gallery down here. So you could just stay down in the shelters or take a part. Join the RMA, the Royal Malta Artillery. 3.7 inch anti-aircraft gun detachment action. Recruits now required for information applying at Upper St Elmo Barracks for letter. There you go. So this would be Maltese life outside the shelters at that time. And this is what it would have been like inside. Here's a room cut. Thanks to a dodgy light bulb flickering. It gives you a feel of what it would be like in here with a candle. We come to the end and the outdoors are ground level you can hear the road door rusting away now to head back so that was absolutely fantastic if you if you're looking for something today that's interesting, this lovely gentleman, um, he showed us around the first part of it. It's him in the afternoon, it's dad in the morning. It's absolutely brilliant. It's like two euros forty is nothing. And they're just that are massive, most extensive underground shelters that are open to the public in the whole of Malt, I believe. Really, really good. Lots of. Um, interesting stuff and it's just just quite a fantastic thing to walk through and it's nice and cool as well so if you're here in the summer even better